The fight to stop a massive data center development in Prince William County is being revived tonight. Two separate lawsuits were just filed by homeowners who live near the Digital Gateway Project on Pageland Lane. That's near the Manassas Battlefield. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey spoke with those bringing this suit about why they hope they'll prevail in court. This is the most consequential land use case I believe the state of Virginia will ever experience. Digital Gateway opponents gathering at the Manassas Battlefield Park to describe their latest battle plan. Two lawsuits filed on behalf of residents say the Board of Supervisors failed to follow both state law and their own county ordinances when they approved rezoning for 2,100 acres of mostly rural land. The plans call for up to 34 data centers here. Attorney Chap Peterson argues the board bent or broke its own rules, then took a vote just days before a newly elected board took over. All of that was ignored in a rush to get this done before a lame duck board departed office. And that's what we have. The Coalition to Protect Prince William and the American Battlefield Trust also backing the lawsuit. But it's homeowners like Chris Wall who are the plaintiffs. He says his family moved to the Oak Valley subdivision 20 years ago for the peace and quiet back when zoning protected what was then called the Rural Crescent. That's my big fear, is the reason that we moved here is now being taken away. That quiet and that peace and that peaceful enjoyment that we enjoy in, in Oak Valley is, is potentially going to be taken away from us. But residents like Marianne Gadban, who have property on Pageland Lane and want to sell, say these high power transmission lines are the reason this is the right place for a massive data center development. She believes the lawsuits will fail. They don't like what the board vote, how the board voted, and they want to try to usurp the board's authority in their decisions. I know that everything was done properly in accordance with the county regulations. One of the attorneys involved in the lawsuit says he expects to have some kind of resolution from the court in about six months. Reporting near Manassas, I'm Julia Carey, News 4. A county spokeswoman says the Board of Supervisors has not yet been served with the lawsuit, but she adds that the county does not com comment rather on active litigation.